So just made a nice efficient little spray paint area. Just trash bags and the, the masking tape, whatever works I guess. So I taped off the guitar and the headstock. So let's get to painting. Using a white Krylon, inexpensive but good brand. Let's see. So for whatever reason, the camera just stopped recording and it missed me putting the first layer of paint on and I just sanded it down and that's where I am right now. It's looking pretty good and I'm going to put another coat on it. So yeah, I just painted the headstock, and I'm just gonna wait for this body to dry, put more coats on it, wait a while for it, that to dry, put some more coats on it, then I'll come back when I'm lacquering it. So, hold on. I didn't film this because I wanted to see exactly how it would turn out, but I got the truss rod cover, and it's my signature, so I needed to have my last name on it. Okay, so I've got two layers of clear on the guitar right now. I just finished painting it last night, and I let the first two coats sit overnight, and I just put this third one on right now. But it's coming along. Check it out. It's getting, if you can see it, yeah, it's getting pretty glossy. It's going to be good. Um, I'll come back to filming once I finish off the rest of the layers. I'm going to wet sand it and then I'll show you what I'm doing there to make it really stand out. Alright, so if you want to know how I got these stripes on here. Um, you saw in the picture I had this little template. I actually made that. What I did was take really wide masking tape and I'm gonna make it small to just, uh, just so I can show you guys but basically cover whatever how wide it is however wide the guitar is take that and just take the strip lay it down as flat as you can just make the area of the tape as wide or long or both as your guitar so I'll just make this little square thing and then do the same thing horizontally if you just did vertically and vertically if you just did horizontally but cover the sticky part so that way you have two parts that you can touch so yeah 
good enough. But just so now you can touch this to whatever, there's nothing, no sticky part on it. Then just take a pencil and draw on your print if you want to do cheetah print, zebra stripes, whatever you want to do. Uh, and get an X-Acto blade or a razor blade or whatever you want to call it and cut the stripes out. And what I did was just place the stripes randomly on here, whatever I thought looked good, and then get regular masking tape and tape it off to the guitar. Then you can just paint over on top of that. It's really easy.